Hey everybody, David Lemon here. I just wanted to inform you about the changes we deployed for GrooveBlock. We have some things that we added, some things that we improved and fixed. Let me just show you the list over here. So one of the first things is the URL structure options. Let me just log into GrooveBlock and show you very quickly. So if we head over to GrooveBlock, open up a blog. If we head over to the settings of our blog, this cogwheel button at the, at the left hand sidebar, and in domains, if you may not know, we have added the functionality to publish a blog to a folder. This was revealed during the Groovathon a couple of times. We demoed this and we, we made sure that everybody knows. Some people may not know, so we made sure that uh, it is available for everybody. So what you do is you select your domain, you select your location. Would you like a root domain or a subdomain? And then you can just call the folder name something. In my case, it is blog. You can call it whatever you want. Want. It's just going to be populating it over here. Okay, once you've done this, you click save. But that leaves a little bit of more functionality uh, needed, and that is the URL structure options. For what if you would like to have your domain.com forward slash blog forward slash just a post name that was not possible before until today. So now we added on these tags where you can create your custom URL. Uh, structure so in case you want a post name you can just uh, delete everything from here and click post name now the post name will show up after the forward slash blog and once you're done with this you can click save if you prefer to do something more more structured or, or if you have a podcast for example and if you would like to mention the month and date and maybe the the category of your podcast and you can create a custom custom URL slug like this one. So basically just kicking, clicking on these things is going to make sure that you can create this custom URL structure. This is for blog post, this is for the tags and also categories. So just click on the, the different options that you prefer and then uh, you can create these custom URL slugs, which is pretty cool. So that's the first thing that we added. We also have added the left hand sidebar on the blog listing page. It's not a huge change, but it's just a UI change for uh, for the blog. So previously when you when you were seeing all your blogs lined up here, we didn't have a sidebar. We have added that in a recent deployment. Okay, so let's just mention some of the improvements. So we have improved the open graph type selector for blogs and posts. So if you head over to the settings, in the group blog and click open graph. This is where you can actually set up the open graph settings when somebody shares out the URL of your blog. Okay, so what we improved is we now load in the actual URL automatically of your blog and we also improved the type selector. Many of you guys didn't know what the open graph type is so now we created a selector so that you can just choose most of the time it's going to be blog and that's the default option as well in case you are doing a blog for for promoting books or about games or movies or recipes or something like that then you can just select that one and that's going to be an open graph type we have also improved the actual uh, save and exit confirmation pop-up and that's the next thing I want to talk about over here so the save and exit confirmation pop-up will only show now when any changes appeared on a post so let's just say you created a post this is my new post okay and if you would like to exit it's going to ask you if you are sure you would like to exit so once you publish and now exit you save but next time when you when you enter and exit without any changes, it's not going to ask you. This is going to be this, the thing with a new blog post. With an older blog post, even if you don't do any changes, it's still going to ask you. So with a new blog post, it's not going to ask you anymore. We also had some fixes for cloning of the blog. There were some issues that not everything got cloned over uh, beautifully. Now that is fixed. And when you were sharing the open graph, uh, when you were sharing your blog or blog post 
uh, on social media, not every time it got shared successfully. So let me just share my blog over here very quickly. So if I come and copy over my blog URL and I'm just using a Facebook developer tool for checking uh, this open graph settings, you're going to see that it pulls in all the information. So what I have added in the open graph settings for my blog is a title, URL, description and an open graph image and as you can see it got imported or is it got pulled in beautifully so i have the the url i have the title i have the description and the open graph image over here we also have the og type uh, here mentioned so all of that information is getting pulled in nicely whenever you would now go and share anything over to to uh, any social media or Skype or, or LinkedIn or anything, all of that information would be working. In certain cases, previously we had some issues where not everything was showing up. So there you go, guys. These are the changes we added for GrooveBlog. Hopefully you like them and hopefully you are going to go out, create some blogs, publish them out and have a lot of visitors because now you can do uh, advanced SEO that was not available previously with GrooveBlog.